you had two once in a in a century storms weeks apart no three days apart Down well, here. the third one from from this one and we got hammered with uh, almost uh, a foot plus inside my units and they're all destroyed I had tenant inside and I had to evacuate them, put them in hotels and everything. Uh, yeah, so it was brutal for everybody. And I have now at the apartment, I have no floors, I have no nothing. You got everything out. Talking about 300,000, 400,000 damage. It's really crazy. We bought this house three months ago. We didn't know that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we know that there is a little bit hot water, you know, high tide, something coming in. But what happened in the last uh, in the last storm was two events, one after the other. One of them hit the first of the, of the story, and then the second one came out like one and uh, one foot in. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty tough, pretty pretty tough for everybody. <laughs> On January 10th and 13th, two record-breaking coastal storms hit Maine back-to-back, -back, and they led to some of the highest water levels we've ever measured along the coast since we started measuring in the early 1900s. And this sort of thing, extreme coastal flooding events, has been happening more frequently throughout the globe, and that's because sea level is rising. To what we might be expecting in the future. Looking into the future, we're expecting sea level to start rising faster. So Maine, for example, has committed to managing a foot and a half of sea level rise in 2050 and four feet in 2100. And those numbers are large compared to the seven and a half inches we've already seen and have already been challenged by dealing with the impacts of that seven and a half inches. Observing the impacts, experiencing the impacts of sea level rise can cause fear or hopelessness, but I can't emphasize how important it is that we don't throw up our hands and give up. Um, mitigation or reducing greenhouse gas emissions is still extremely important. Every tenth of a degree of warming matters for sea level rise.